This is a video to help you practice a piece in the Suzuki Cello School Book 2, which is called Minuet Number 3, and it's written by Johann Sebastian Bach. This video will help you practice the piece and work through some of the harder spots, and it will be slower than you might hear on the recording and hopefully make it easier for you to practice. So we're going to start at the very beginning with fourth finger on the D string. <laughs> some of the tricky spots. So the first part is in measure five, we have a line that kind of drops down and it goes all the way to third finger on the G string like this. <laughs> second ending in the first section because we have to shift for the part coming up. So I'm going to start um, in the middle of the first section at measure 9, which sounds like the beginning. <laughs> Instead of four, you're going to put two there. And you want it to sound exactly the same. You want it to match. So let's practice getting into the second ending again from measure 13. <laughs> to shift when you play the second open D. Right here, you're going to move your whole hand. Don't just move your second finger. That's not good. You want to move your thumb and your second finger like this. Okay, now you're in second position. The next note, you have to put your pinky on the A string. But don't move back or forth. Just reach to the A string. This is a note called E. You might have encountered that note in Minuet 1, which is the piece right before. So you're going to play your E. But here's what's different. Instead of doing 1, which would be C sharp, you have to lift your first finger and reach it back to C natural. So the notes sound like this. Let's practice that a couple times. Okay. After that, you're going to climb back up again and you're going to slur C and D. 
you're going to finish with an E and a C. So here's all of measure 17. Okay, to get out of second position, you're going to play two more notes and then go back to first. You're going to hop over to on D and slur A, then let go of your hand, go back to first position for B and G. So we're going to put that all together. We're going to go back to measure 17 in second position. There's your note that you want. to second position again. So let's practice that part going to second position. If you're following along in the music, uh, this is measure 23. You have a B, open D, and then instead of F sharp, with which is normally three, you're going to put your first finger there and go to a two. All right, let's practice together measures 23 and 24. So we start in first position. Shift. Let's do that one more time and we're going to keep going. We're going to do a bow lift and continue on. We start with a second finger, cross to G, two, one, two, and then your pinky plays the note A, but it's on the D string. Then back to two, one, two. Let's try those two measures one more time. position. So we have our two. We're going to reach back with one to find F. And then a little tiny half step shift to E. Let's try that measure again. This is measure 27. You're going to start with the sound of a G. Listen for your ringing tone on your open G. Okay, once you have it, you're going to play that note and reach back with one, and then a little shift. Good, let's try that again. Great. Now we're going to finish the piece. I'm going to be taking the first ending because I want to get ready to go back to measure 17 for the repeat. So we're going to start at measure 25 and take the first ending. to go uh, to second position from the first ending. So this is a very quick shift. You have your one, four, and you're going to move your second finger to fourth finger spot on the G string. So you'll go like this. Let's do a slow motion. 
ending. It should sound the very same thing as the second ending, the final second ending in the piece. You can just stay in first position because you're done. All right, well I hope you have uh, some help with learning minuet number three and this is not intended to replace a lesson with your teacher, but it's a way of practicing some of the tricky spots as a practice helper. All right, thanks a lot. My name is Nicole Myers from the Pittsburgh Cellos 